if men are Darth Vader, then women are Palpatine. Now, if you're wondering what that was, that was Chainsaw Man or Bridge. Thank you, Mom. And the series is called Hornsaw Bro Man. Episode 1 is out now, and the next one will be coming sometime soon in the future, but you know, can't really say right now because I have more consistent videos to be making in the meanwhile. On the subject. The next video dropping after this one will be Fraud Watch, a series where we will defend Mark's fraud allegations and accuse two other culprits of ignorance in the comic communities involving the sweats and the new babies. Fraud Watch will be a video that will just essentially call out things in a proper term of a fraud, you know, actual fraudulent things, and not fraud in the brain dead terms everyone else just casually uses it as nowadays. Just tossing that shit around when they simply dislike a character. And I don't even mean characters. I mean people, whole categories of ignorance. This series is more of an honorific to the late great comic historian who passed away earlier this year, as well as the Fraud Watch series to be honest because it's going to get into a lot more than simply Mark Grayson. This series will sometimes go in tandem with Fraud Watch, but primarily this one will just be highlighting really, really good fights done in all sorts of media. I already got a name for this series, like from title alone, you're gonna know what type of video this is when you click it. And they're not normally gonna be as long as this video will be at all. Spider-Man Abridged is coming. I am finishing this series out of obligation at this point because, uh, and this is painful to admit, I lost all my footage of me reacting to Venom reveal. But ultimately that whole series is a literal showcase of my process of learning how to edit past ADHD, learning Premiere Pro, sound effects like crazy, figuring out voiceovers. You will literally see my editing evolve throughout that series. And now I have the skills to be able to make up for the footage that I lost. I know exactly how I'm going to do it and I know you'll love what I have coming up. Wukong playthrough is coming, but instead of a normal playthrough like most people as I'm going to be late because I have other things to do, I'm making a series called Wukong Pack Files where I'm going to be each of the bosses in new game double plus mode and I'm going to have different individual fits and loadouts for each individual one. And maybe even more, depends on what I feel like doing when I get to the series. This will lead into a cyberpunk and a Elder Ring series of cinematic playthroughs where we play through the game and their individual endings with specific loadouts and fits, as well as personalities to go with as I pseudo improv my way throughout the journey. Of course, it'll be on this harder difficulties. Also, I upgraded. <laughs> yeah. Over the last few years, I've been working multiple jobs, you know, been a social media manager for a black owned restaurant called 1804, the only successful slave revolt, by the way. Warehouses, 4 a.m. shifts, 12 hour shifts, you know, other stuff to try to get money in my pocket in the meanwhile. Um, and this is the first time that I've taken a break from nine to fives and just did YouTube, you know, just really focus on my craft. And so ultimately the speed of how I'll be able to get all those things done is ultimately up to Biggest thing I learned while being a social media manager is that every interaction really matters, bro. It impacts how many people will even see the video that got put out, whether you're subscribed or not. So even with your favorite YouTubers, just cause you sub don't mean it's over, my guy. You still gotta like and comment on their stuff. Go support those YouTubers, man. Now I'm not talking about myself. I ain't got nothing on the channel for real. It is the easiest thing to do and it helps a lot for YouTubers visibility online. A lot of people be wondering why certain YouTubers will be blowing up, but they don't really make an active effort to make sure they're doing all the interactions because that is how your YouTuber will be shown. If you don't do that, it won't be shown to new people. You have to do that. It's not a platitude to say that every single one matters. Each single one more than likely is probably on a precipice of bringing it to like a hundred more people. So the more people that's active, the more able that they're able to spread fast. This is how a lot of things are going years without people knowing it, and then people are like, oh wow, this has been here for so long. How Tack less bullshit that? and support more quality, because then I get in enough. So obviously, yes, that does apply here. However, everything I've said prior applies to the ones you already have a bond with. You don't know me, you're trying to learn if people want to be here, I get it, right? But for them, those are people you already appreciate, people who already came in clutch for you. They're the ones that you owe. These YouTubers put hours in to make this content. Trust me, I know. For like the last year and a half now, it's just been from work, editing, from work, editing, and now it's just editing. <laughs> So man, I'm really glad to do this for y'all. I love making these videos, but how fast I can get these done is dependent on y'all's support. So I'm damn sure not saying the help ain't wanted, but I know that y'all simply doing the free ones really plays way more a bigger of an impact for the long term. And so I'd honestly rather that. And despite what people say of all ages, everybody in a sense have stopped trying. For that and a list of other reasons, I want to change all that within this industry by being the king of entertainment. It's not a metaphor or, or a fake title. 
I absolutely guarantee that by the end of my career, the whole world is going to acknowledge that. And this right here is the start. The Genesis. The Awakening. And you, my friend, are here for it. So, I'm not taking my foot off the Niggas pedal this time. The Nothing's drink. stopping me. And that's why I've been working so hard with all these jobs, even going to 12-hour shift warehouses, just for the sake of being able to put something in around here. This is the first time in period that I just took the time for just me and this channel since I've graduated high school. And I was in 2020 during Corona, and I didn't want to get into Despite that. what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do so that it doesn't come out bad to my folks and, you know, people around me, I had to come to terms with reality that you can't do both when it comes to this. You can do what you gotta do to get the time that you need, but you gotta put all your effort into it. It's like any other job if you wanted to become one. Last job was the 1804 that I mentioned earlier. And when I left that place, two separate posts that I had blew up. And I absolutely took advantage of the time frame it was in. I'm not even finna get into that situation. If you still defending that shit, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You're definitely not gonna like it. Come to a versatile way, and I'm gonna make it worth it. I absolutely promise you that. I'm gonna make sure I give y'all a product worth investing in me, despite knowing me for such a small amount of time on this YouTube app. Ever since Jacksepticeye was doing turbo dismount in that one game called Pain, bars, I've enjoyed this app. As far as this app, <laughs> we'll have a conversation about that later. Ups and downs, but if you're still here, I imagine I made an impression and I thank you greatly. I thank you all so much for any appreciation you've shown so far in the video by watching and even more so if you made it this far because while I made it entertaining, attention spans just ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Some of y'all probably already skipped so it is what it is. I get it, don't worry. But thank you for watching. If you did, and I thank you greatly. I prayed for and I'm praying for all of you and your benefit. May all of our success go up. Amen. <laughs> so, what's your prize for making it through? Another Ace Vane skit. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Talk to me after your Premiere Pro just crashed and ruined five hours of editing, and then you have to go to work on a 10 hour shift and still find some way to get through the day without fucking losing it. Bitch, I ain't even say nothing to your neck had an idea like bug looking at And then I would just watch Reactor watch a whole hour long compilation. Then get me through another shift too. Then he found another bro smell like loose chain. Hey, that was that was low key. Ace Vane did that for me. So this is paying dividends. I'll be satisfied when he's at 10 million. How about that? Jokes aside though, no other video is gonna have this many like Ace Vane skits implemented within it. It just happens to Coraline line because he also did the DCAMU. It depends on how well it goes along with what I'm saying already. <laughs> and this just happened to mesh in with it, so I was like, fuck it. I will probably do best sub moments though. You say that you know this guy, right? Trust me, this my guy, man. He the big bro, man. Like, big bro? bro? How, how long have you known him? So, so, what, what now? How long have you known him? Why, why that matter? Like, I, for a little minute, How now, long like, was a little minute? About two, bro. But about why, why two what? Years? No, nigga, minutes. It's, it's two minutes. You know I know him. Two him, minutes, and you're already calling him big bro. I just know good people when I meet him, man. Like, yeah, he big bro. Like, on his dick like that. <laughs> but if you want to support more than that, I do have a GoFundMe. Oh, here come this nigga asking for charity. I'm an entertainer, you son of a bitch. I can't stand a dumb motherfucker. Man. I ain't finna be the one pretending as if my whole career isn't funded by y'all. Even your time. Your time is currency. I get that. I'm not finna throw some bullshit pride factor in the mix because of the fact that I'm doing it early. I'm letting y'all know what my goals are from the jump. And it's literally for school, for a job, so that I can be able to fund my own shit after this. Now, the program I'm going to is Georgia Film Academy. 800 per semester, so the whole goal is 2400. Now it's set for 5,000 because after that, any money that's raised, I'm gonna start giving to my mom. But this one's from my mom because she really originated all of the roots of where my passion started. This channel really has this thanks to her in particular. So this will be this channel's thank you to her. As I said, Versatile is built by all of us, not just me. So I guess this is a request, you know. Do as you please. If you wanna stop after we get the amount for the college, that's all up to you. I'm gonna be added to the funds in this as well. Don't worry. Like, comment, subscribe if you wanna support the PayPal. And then I have two options that I don't fully recommend. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> I have my membership that's only a dollar and I'm gonna be posting behind the scenes, but I only got one video up, you know, and it's a dollar, but you know, I guess you could do that one. Um, but the Patreon, that's gonna be five dollars and that's where I'm gonna do my reactions and full videos at. But you know, I just gotta get around to doing reactions after I finish, you know, the content I got now and some crucial stuff I gotta get in while it's in, you know. But 
I can only do this for so long. And it is what it is, you know? I'm not stopping this. I'm not gonna stop dedicating towards this. I found my mojo, I found my way. I'm finna keep going harder and harder. I am appreciative of any and everything y'all send, even if it's just a dollar. Cause I do not underestimate how much a big community of people just sending one dollar can really do. I'm blessed with some good folks. So I don't got a reason to complain, be lazy, or to cut my own opportunities for the sake of feeling like I earned it better. The more y'all go in, the more I can go in. The bigger the funds go, the more I can fund into this. No matter how much y'all support this channel, it's nine times out of 10 going straight into this because my whole life is going into this career. I'm not joking. I want to do this for my whole life. And I just want to keep getting bigger and bigger. And also healthily too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Once I get to a point where I'm stable, I'm going to definitely need to take a mental break. But right now I just got to keep grinding. That's just what it is with YouTube. So I'm just going to keep it going. When I do get stable, you know, I'm just saying that we're here right here now. I'm gonna, I might... <laughs> At least like half a month, I don't know it to myself, cause that shit, woof. As it stands, them bells ain't getting lighter. Ha <laughs> ha, vote blue. So, let's get started.